We love it when it rains at the dinosaur park. My name is JP Hodnett. I'm the paleontologist at Dinosaur Park, which is located uh, in Laurel, Maryland, northeast of Washington, DC. The cool thing about the park is that we're one of the few places on the East Coast that allows visitors to come in and actually participate with the science. A lot of our discoveries are made by our park patrons. They come in every first and third Saturday of each month. You know, children have some of the best luck in finding fossils. In fact, uh, some of the best uh, fossils we've ever found are actually found by people who are younger than four. We dig occasionally, but the majority of what we do there, we just pick up the fossils after it rains. If it was just completely dry all the time, you're not going to find anything. You need the rocks to go away. So every time it rains, and that clay is super soft when it gets wet, it washes away, you know, just layer by layer of the clay, leaving behind the bigger fossils and little fragments of rocks and things like that. So this is the natural weathering process that gives us the fossils. We only dig when we actually have like a fossil that's going into the ground. So it's a very easy job and on my end. I'm just picking things up as I go and putting them in bags. Dinosaur Park is one of the few places in the entirety of the Mid-Atlantic that represents what's called the Early Cretaceous, which is a very just specific point in time. It's kind of like the beginning of the end of the age of the dinosaurs. Specifically around that, you know, 115 to 112 million year period, water tells a big story. The Mid-Atlantic region was basically kind of like a big drainage for all the uh, water and sediments that are coming off the ancient Appalachian Mountains. So everything's kind of mixed together, which also again helps support the evidence there's a river going through here. It's, it's basically mixing all these animal parts together, kind of like in a soup. <laughs> so they're just kind of coupled together. And this was great about the Dinosaur Park. It, it kind of is a time capsule of, of information. So at the end of the Cretaceous, you have some of the most famous dinosaurs of all time. You have Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. At Dinosaur Park, we had none of those guys. What we do have is the largest dinosaur ever found on the east side of the United States. Um, it is also the state dinosaur of uh, Maryland, which is called Astrodon Johnsonite. It is a 70 foot long, long necked herbivorous dinosaur, kind of like the dinosaur version of a giraffe. This is our, our model of what Astrodon would have looked like. This tooth, this is an Astrodon tooth. It's a young little boy, he was super excited that we found that show a child a dinosaur tooth and just, their eye just open wide and uh, that's always a, a great thrill for me is to see that enthusiasm because I had the same enthusiasm too uh, when I was younger as well. And you actually see something that you recognize as being a fossil. It's like a jolt in your, in, like, in the core of yourself. It's always a good reminder there were things here that have their own story and finding those fossils tell you that story. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.